the different layers, I still like to put one glaze all over, then I'll accent the different layers with another glaze on it to give it some interest and variety. So I'm gonna do pure black. So we'll go in. Usually if I have my other hand available, I'll slosh some glaze on that last part. Let that dry before touching it. All right, so the first accent glaze I'm gonna use is Alabama Marine. So one of the ways I like to accent is with a fan brush. I'm gonna take this fan brush and pop some Alabama in on the inside. I'm gonna end up putting another glaze on top of Alabama. So it's really nice to have thin layers. It'll end up looking like uh, one really dynamic glaze combo on the inside if I do this. If you end up like, say, pouring in two other glazes on top of this, that's too much glaze and your glaze can end up crawling on you. this is connected here I am gonna end up glazing my handle white and then bringing Alabama actually to the base of the piece as well for continuity so our glazes aren't formulated to brush but once we have an all-over glaze we can brush our glazes for accents after that and you won't have any streakiness or anything like that the glazes are meant to layer and they're meant to have some delineations in them for accent purposes. So, but we have a nice base first. So I am gonna bring Alabama on the bottom too. Because uh, a lot of this is easy to dip, I'm just gonna go ahead and casually mix the top of this and then actually do a very, very quick dip on the bottom and then I'm going to spread the glaze out. So just a little bit of glaze. And then I'm going to flip this over and pull this glaze down while it's still wet. I, of course, I'm gonna wipe the bottom of this piece once I'm done glazing it. Right now, I'm not worrying about that too much. I'm gonna do the same thing for the handle too. Just real quick, get that glaze. Any spots that I missed, I'll hit with the fan brush. to make it cleaner okay so I'm gonna do a June Perry accent on this so I'm actually going to put June Perry uh, fan brush it on the inside and on the outside um, on top of the Alabama and then all the way down on to I think this bottom ledge here and then after that I'm gonna put uh, wonder blue just in this band here Let's do it. All right, so I've got June Perry mixed up. I am going to take that June Perry and lightly layer it with a fan brush on the inside. 
So if I lightly layer with a fan brush on the inside, I can actually get multiple glazes on the inside of the piece and make a really dynamic inside to my piece. And so that's something I like to do in my work. If you're more of a minimalist person, then totally just have one color and there's nothing wrong with that either. So I've got a little June Perry and I'm actually going to fan brush to this edge here all the way up. And then I'm gonna end up putting another color in on this other band. So. I have pure black as the base. Alabama fan brushed on the inside the outside top part and the outside bottom part. Now I'm coming in with June Perry as my third layer, fan brushing it on the inside and then on the outside of all this texture, I'm still gonna put another glaze over this texture. So I will have kind of some dynamic layers, but they're all gonna have unity. So I think that's one thing that uh, I really like to make sure that I have in the, my vessels that I glaze is unity or continuity, if you will. So because I have that base of black, everything kind of has the same feel to it with just little variants of color. But it's not like a bright, shiny glaze over here and a dull matte, you know, a dull, less saturated glaze over here and just a bunch of different colors and shininess and dullness and anyway. So, doing this we we want that unity, we want that harmony, that cohesion. So the fan brush is my best brand, especially for a piece like this. Trying to decide if I want to go June to the bottom. I think I'm just gonna make a, a delineation there, kind of where it meets. And just yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna do. So it's gonna kind of be muted on the bottom. Okay, so that is June Perry. That's what I'm doing for now. Let that dry and then I'll do my next layer. Okay, so now I'm going to add, with a fan brush, from here to here, Wonder Blue. It's a toxic glaze, but if it's used on the outside of a piece, then you're perfectly fine. And it's a gorgeous cobalt-based blue. So, and I love using a fan brush because it just kind of fits all the forms really nicely. So, and I think I am gonna kind of pop over this edge a little bit.
Okay, and there's nothing wrong with doing a little on the handle if you wanted to. So, but because my band is kind of not touching the handle, I'm not going to put any there, but I could. So that's it for Wonder Blue. And then I think I am gonna hit, uh, do a little kiss of red gold and then just have that be able to flow into the piece a little, but that's it. All right, so we got red gold here. It's an accent only glaze in a medium sized bucket and it kind of gets thick at the very bottom so you kind of have to scrape it a little and this is actually thinner than I like the glaze but that's okay I'm gonna do just a little kiss and then I'm gonna Hold it upside down and let it dry. So usually I'll do a little kiss like that, but then I'll take a fan brush and finish it out. Also because this one is kind of organic, I think it makes sense to kind of take this glaze and force it down this way. Actually, I'm going to pop it all the way to the edge. Why not? That's what that edge is going to do. That edge is going to end up catching this glaze anyhow. So see how I can just kind of tap on it and the glaze will actually flow a little. For me. Yeah. 